This video is sponsored by PageProof. What if we have text in our file, but it's not formatted properly with proper paragraph and character styles? That would never happen, right? Not in my experience. So here's a lovely uh, file. Looks like it would be relatively straightforward to work with, but due to ignorance, accident, or malfeasance, um, there are no paragraph and character styles at all in use in here. So if I select all the text, there's just nothing. This is just all local formatting. So what to do? Um, this is gonna be a pain if you're gonna have to do significant edits here, so it'd be much better if this is formatted with styles. One of the simplest things you can do for a straightforward document like this is to just use fine change within InDesign. So if I select some of the text with one of the headings, I can open fine change go to the text tab. I don't want to change any of the content. I just want to leave the content as it is and just focus on the formatting. So I can click under Find Format, go to Basic, and this is Barlow Condensed, Bold, 23 points on 24 point lighting, and let's make it purple, because it is. All right, so that's what we're gonna find. We're gonna replace that with what? A paragraph style, but we don't have any paragraph styles in here. Not yet. We can choose new paragraph style right here and create one on the fly. So I'll just call this H1, okay, okay. And make sure we're gonna search the document or we can search a bunch of documents at once. So if you have similar documents, you can fix them all at the same time. So we'll just use this document, change all. Six replacements made, and now all of my headings are properly styled with H1. Okay, you can repeat that process for the four or five styles in this simple document. Um, if you have a complex document with lots of styles that need to be created, then you wanna look at a different kind of solution. You wanna use a script or a plugin. In the handout for the session, I put a link to a script. It's a free script called Auto Create PC Styles that will go through and analyze all the text formatting in the document, create styles, and apply them immediately. Uh, there's also commercial plugins that do the same thing and do it really well. Um, the one that I'm running here right now is part of the DTP Tools uh, Cloud Suite, and it's a thing called Power Styles. And with Power Styles, once you have it installed, you get some new commands in the Paragraph Styles and Character Styles uh, panel menus. So down here, I have Create basic character styles, so I can select that. And you see how it just instantly created um, styles for basic stuff like bold, italic, semi-bold, and so forth, and it applied them. So now my figure references are all styled with a character style, semi-bold, my uh, menu paths are bold, my URLs are styled with underline, and so forth. Pretty nifty. Let's take the next step and create paragraph styles. So I can say create all paragraph styles, Boop. And now every bit of text in this uh, document is formatted with paragraph styles. The one wacky thing is, look at these style names. <laughs> yeah, what style do we apply there, Mike? You apply no paragraph style plus Barlow condensed plus bold plus color plus 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 plus. Um, but that's easily remedied, right? All, all you have to do is just close up the panel so it's not blinding you. Uh, put your cursor in one of these guys. Do the slow double click. Doop, doop. And this will be, you know, title and so forth, and go on and you'll have a perfectly cleanly styled InDesign document thanks to Power Styles. So you will in fact be home for dinner tonight because now you know how to handle that. So you can use Find Change on a single document or a bunch of documents you have open. Uh, so use the, the script. Uh, in terms of prevention, getting other humans to apply uh, styles properly. <laughs> Good luck. Um, well, we can try, we can try. We'll, we'll, we make templates where all the, all the um, text is properly formatted with styles. We create documentation, spec guides, share them with everybody on the project and emphasize the importance of the use of styles. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.